boy's all right. Packed him off home. The girl's parents here? Yes, they're waiting. What do you like? Young, nice. He's a maintenance engineer at the pit. Uh -huh. Evening. Dr. Brown. How is she? How's Ruth? I is she in danger? Please, tell us the truth. Her little girl is very ill. She has a hemoglobin reading of only 30%. What does that mean? It means that she has less than half the amount of blood she ought to have. I'm afraid she'd severed an artery. Ruth is well below the danger line, Mrs. Harris. What are you going to do? We're going to give her a blood transfusion straight away. Fortunately, she belongs to a common group. There should be no trouble in that direction. Once the new blood begins to work, she'll pick up, be well on her way to recovery. We you know what astonishing recuperative powers young children have. No. No what, Mr. Harris? She, she, she mustn't have a blood transfusion. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. The child is dying. Yes, Mrs. Harris, dying. She needs red blood cells, at once. But, but, but giving and taking of blood is against our religion. Religion? What's religion got to do with it? A transfusion will save her life. It will deny her everlasting life. A blood transfusion? It's against God's law. What law? There can't be any law that... Whatsoever man eateth any manner of blood, I will set my face against that soul. That's just a legend, man. Thousands of years old, but we're not living in the Dark Ages now. God's word is as true today as it was then. Mister... Wait here, please. He said he could save her. You must say the choice for her. I don't want to. You must. A, a momentary existence now, or, or the glory of eternal life with God. If we weaken Pat, we destroy her. 